Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? To another episode of me talking about WoW. This time it's not really a rambling, but a hmm, open discussion, I guess? So, lately the topic is on pretty much everybody's mouths. The level squish. What do I think about it? How it could go? How it could be changed? Well, here's my take on it. So what is exactly the plan? Apparently, either in uh, the later stages of BFA or in the next expansion, the max level of a character will be lowered. We are not sure to how much. There are two theories. One being level 60 and the other one being level 80. I personally am more towards the level 80 myself. But what is it going to be exactly about? I mean, is it going to just be scaled down to cater to that one level? I mean, it's it's not going to change much if it's going to be just that. Also, if they will continue to add new levels as they did before, sooner or later we will go back to level 120. And there are two ways that this can go. First, and the more common, eh, it's not a problem, we'll just do a squish again at some point. That's not really a good solution, I'd say. The other one is, and again, this is the one I'm also more into myself, adding Paragon levels. Not necessarily anything fantastic after you reach every single Paragon level. For me, it could be something like um, adding one level of... Uh, Stamina or one level of agility or some secondary stats. Oh goodness timing And um, yeah The other thing is what about the world? I mean if it's gonna be just the same as it is uh, face horrible shit show It's not gonna change much We need a overhaul of the old content. We need improvements into the leveling system. And one of the simplest would be just increasing the difficulty level to make mobs actually harm us and not just tickle us. Because that's, let's be honest, it gets boring really quickly. And as somebody who tried to get some friends into WoW, the difficulty is one of the issues that most of them actually uh, mark. They say it's too easy and they don't want to wait until the end game to potentially have some difficulty to play with. And yeah, besides that, 120, well, 120 levels. That's quite a lot. It is a lot. And seeing some smaller number, 60, 70, or, eight, or 80, that's gonna be good. And then just adding some Paragon levels which, which will just increase your stats, like, very minimally. Or hell, even not to that, it could be something like that a Paragon level does something similar to the current Prestige. It adds, you new, co it's, it adds uh, new cosmetics for you, or some titles, or all of that jazz. That's also a thing that could work. And yes, just so you know, I am looking for Dark Iron Ore. But back to the point. I tried so many times, you would not believe even how many, to get a bunch of friends to start playing WoW. And some of, some of them do. But most of them actually just roleplay. Don't ask me where, I don't know most of the time. Oh, hello. Oh, auto loot. Hey, good job, me. And, uh, yeah, besides that, professions, all the uh, food buffs, potions, flasks, they could also be revamped. They could be finally improved, changed. And I really do hope they will not ignore blacksmithing this time, because if you remember one of my previous videos, 
blacksmiths cannot make plate gear for themselves until level 40. That's a big no-no. And the weapons that they have available are... Eh, of questionable quality. But, oh well. There is still time for them to, you know, have a look into everything. And hopefully they will find all of the... Um, issues that are in the game. But yeah, the most important as of right now is for them to actually improve the leveling. And how it would how it would go exactly? I mean, we could start with the vanilla zones and perhaps the zones could scale up to the max level allowing the player to uh, witness the whole adventure inside one content. Like, you s usually you start in vanilla and then you go somewhere else, TBC or RAF or whatever. What if you'd be allowed to level up till max level in just vanilla content? I personally would love it. It would allow me to level where the hell I want. But again, this content would require revamping because this is something that I have the most uh, issues with. As an Alliance player, if I go to Stormwind on a level 10, I will be greeted by Queen Anduin. Even though, a little bit further along the lines, let's say in Pandaria, I see Varian accompanying me. This is one of the things that needs to be changed. I mean, world consistency. I don't want to see... Let's say Thrall will be the next... Uh, War Chief, but I don't want to see Garrosh in Stone Talon pretending to be the War Chief. There is just so much that needs to be changed, fixed, and otherwise. But yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna end this rambling over here. In the next one, however, we will be talking finally about mounts, flying ground mounts and how I would change them, what would I add, what would I remove, and so on and so forth. So I would like to invite you for that, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rakan, and you've been listening to my rambling. Bye!